Hi, I'm uh, Mark Manor with Homer's Music in Omaha, Nebraska. And if you like what you're seeing, make sure to subscribe. We're going to talk about some records coming out on Friday, November 5th. And we're going to start off with ABBA. <laughs> so um, there are a few, a few things that I was pretty certain of in life. And one of them was that I'd never be talking about a brand new ABBA record. Not that, you know, it just they were so against ever reuniting and, you know, they've been offered literally a billion dollars to tour and they turned it down. So, I mean, that's, you know, kind of sticking to your guns. But here we are, 40 years after their last record, we have a new ABBA record called Voyage. Um, I did listen to it today and it is full on ABBA. <laughs> it, is, it is ABBA. <laughs> and, uh, uh, you know, a few years ago, I listened to all the ABBA records in order, and I don't, I love ABBA, don't get me wrong, but I don't think ABBA ever made a good record. So there's always like one or two like fantastic songs off of each record, which is why uh, ABBA Gold is, is ABBA Gold. Right. And um, we sell the snot out of ABBA Gold. It's always in our top five. Um, at the end of the year when we run a list of all the best-selling records ABBA Gold will be in the top five and it's just it's nostalgia it's comfort there's nothing divisive about ABBA it's just it's happy um, so this record um, again is it a great record it's actually probably as good if not better than a lot of their records to be honest with you um, you know we listened to it twice today um, everybody's pretty happy when it played uh, there was a few songs that stood out to me. Um, one was a song called I Can Be That Woman, which is uh, kind of a ballad. Uh, it sounds like Roxette to me, which in Roxette, of course, was influenced by ABBA. And you get to hear uh, Agna and Frida say, screw you in the song. So, hey, can't go wrong there. There's also a, there's a Christmas song on here, of all things, because the world needed an ABBA Christmas song. So watch out for that on those 24-hour Christmas channels soon, I'm sure. My favorite song on here is probably No Doubt About It um, towards the end because it's just ABBA at 11. And I think ABBA's at their best when they're just full on ABBA. If you're an ABBA fan, you're gonna dig it. Um, if you're a casual ABBA fan, you gotta listen to it. You're gonna, it's gonna make you happy. So, Voyage, uh, it's out on Blue Vinyl. We have Blue Vinyl, I'm sure there's other colors out there as well. Oh, snail Mail second album from snail mail kind of indie rock female fronted um this record is fantastic um you know her second record um and she, you know she got a little bit of fame off the first one it came out in 2018 she was still in high school um she got you know a little bit caught up in it now she's like got things like managed, you know, people run her social media, things like that. She did go into rehab recently. Um, she talks about that on the record a little bit, sings about it. It's called Valentine. It's about love, of course. Um, she, what's funny is I was reading her influences today on Wikipedia and it was just cause I'm like, uh, you know, Fiona Apple and Avril Lavigne and Velvet Underground and all these artists and no Juliana Hatfield, which is, we were talking about it earlier when we were playing the record. It's like a lot of these young artists, to me, sound like Juliana Hatfield from the 90s. And Juliana, she still puts out records. Her last two records were fantastic. But um, yeah, but Juliana doesn't get any credit. And I want to see Juliana Hatfield get more credit. Anyway, this is a fantastic record. Check it out. Um, before I get into the reissues, there's another record coming out tomorrow. The vinyl doesn't come out until uh, December 12th. I was going to grab the CD forgot but it's uh curtis harding soul record um starts off with like this big 70s soul couple of numbers lots of strings electric guitar so it's like isaac hayes meets barry white but it also has like you know letty kravitz made some good records but later on and early on so it, he kind of i guess some inflection in his voice some tone that reminds me of lenny kravitz too some of the records a little bit more modern too it's, it's all over the place anyway blew me away some of it really blew me away so check it out tomorrow curtis harding um <clears throat> okay some of the reissues because we're in the christmas season i believe it's the 10th anniversary of el camino from the black keys um 
This is, you know, the record brothers before this was the one that really blew them up. This is the first record that they went out and toured arenas on. So whereas brothers was a little more mellow, they actually rocked this one up. I think they knew that they were going to have to play this live and, you know, get out in their at arena level. So it's a rock record. Uh, it actually has a live show on it. So there's two, three records in here. So it's the, you know, the record and then a full live show out going over two records. Um, or you can buy the Super Deluxe, which is the live show. Um, and then it has some BBC sessions and then something called Electro Vox sessions, which I'll be honest with you, I have no idea what that is, but I'm sure they're similar to BBC sessions. All right, this thing. They have put Radiohead's Kid A and Amnesia together. So. Uh, and then they put a third slab of vinyl in there with a lot of unreleased stuff on it. So that's what people are after. So that comes out tomorrow. People are excited. <laughs> Limited edition of red too, I see. It is. that Ours is red, yeah. I don't know. There'll probably be other colors out there. So with independent record stores, we typically get our own color. So, yeah. Uh, then there's some Steve Earle reissues coming out tomorrow. These are all albums that came out in the last decade, so I mean, it's not like that big of a deal. They're all colored vinyl, but I mention it because people have been kind of excited for these, even though they're, you know, not that far out of print, but I guess people wanted some Steve Earle colored vinyl, which more power to you. Uh, last but not least, this is Steve Perry Christmas record. Uh, Steve Perry of Journey's first Christmas album. I have not heard it, but it's eight songs from The Voice. So I don't know. I think this will be big if it sounds good. I mean, people love Journey. And he even does Old, Anxi Old Anxiety on it. So you could uh, rock this at midnight and start 2022 off on a whole new journey. See?